Story time. <laughs> so your Auntie Debbie had to threaten someone today. Let's get into the story. So if you guys have been following me for some time, you will remember that about, I think it was about a year and a half ago, coming up on two years actually, next month, um, this neighbor that I had asked me to be his girlfriend. Well, first he asked me to be his fuck buddy and I told him that I do not fuck my friends. Um, then he said, okay, then we can be boyfriend and girlfriend. Now at that time, I told him that he had told me previously in conversations because, um, he and I and this other neighbor, we used to hang out in the parking lot during the pandemic, right? Just hanging out, you know, just chilling, just, you know, whatever. And we had long, long conversations. I mean, for hours. And one of those conversations, he told me that he was impotent. And he claims he didn't say that. So, as the moment approached, if you know what I mean, um, I told him, I said, uh, did you get your COVID test? He was stalling on that. And then I told him, uh, well, okay, if you got your COVID test, and if it's positive, then, you know, <laughs> let's, uh, let's do this. I mean, you know, I was wanting to, and, uh, he was attractive. I found him attractive and, um. He kept like putting it off and then finally he told me that he had a headache. Oh, come on. So I told him, you know what, what's happening here is that you're impotent and you're not telling me and, you know, I don't appreciate you lying. And guys, it's not that I had anything against him being impotent. I was against him not telling me the truth, okay? So he, so we broke up. And I told him that I was not interested. I said, like I told you before, I am not interested in a sexless relationship. I have friends. I have my daughter. I have a ton of friends. I do not need more friends. And I'm sure many of you will understand what I mean by saying that. And if you don't, well, I'm sorry, but that's the way I feel. I feel like um, I have, you know, lots of friends I can talk to. I don't need any more friends to keep up with, Okay. So, um, he, I told him, look, you've known me for an hour, an hour, a year and a half. We had a good friendship. We got along splendidly. I would go over to his house and watch movies and stuff and just really hang out as friends, right? We were great friends. I would, um, you know, bring over some food. He would buy food sometimes. I mean, it was fine. Why didn't you just leave it that way? That's what I told him. Why'd you have to ruin the friendship with this bullshit, with your lies? But I guess some people just can't help being the scumbags they are. Anyway, so I, I got mad. I said, you know what? I don't need this shit in my life. I've gone, this has happened to me too many times, okay? I attract these weirdos. So I told him, look, just don't talk to me. If you see me in the hallway, don't talk to me. Don't say hello. Don't say Merry Christmas. Don't say anything to me. Just leave me alone and let's just pretend we don't know each other. Period. So I went about my life, right? Well, subsequently, I had two flat tires and uh, and something else happened to my car. Someone scratched my car. And I texted him and said, look, you better knock it off because I know it was you, blah, blah, blah. Because nothing ever happened to my car before that, right? So, um... So yeah, this has gone on and on, and uh, for the longest time, like if he's standing outside smoking a cigarette and I'm leaving the parking lot, I look both ways, but I don't even acknowledge his presence. If he's standing with our friend, I say hello to her and don't say hello to him, or sometimes I don't even say hello to either one of them. Uh, if she doesn't see me, then I just let it be like, be like that. So yesterday, mind you, I'm coming in from the parking lot, and he's going out, and he stands right in front of me, mind you, stops right in front of me and says, how you doing? Oh, God, you know what? I asked this man several times not to speak to me, 
And um, because he really did break my heart, okay? Because I thought we had a good friendship. I thought he was different. Um, I thought this would be great to have a relationship because, you know, we get along really well. And he's not bad looking. And I am kind of attracted to him. So I thought it would be great. And then he goes and bursts my boat with this bullshit. I'm just sick. I hate being mocked to. Anyway, it's just not necessary, okay? I'm not those kind of women that's going to, like, you know, fall apart if you like, if you tell me the truth about something. So, um, so I texted him this morning and I told him that if he speaks to me one more time, I am going to go and tell every woman in this building that he's impotent and what he did to me. And I think that's fair because I asked him several times not to mess with me. I told him, you're messing with the wrong person. I'm a really great person, but if you get on my bad side and try to um, mess with me, you're going to get messed with. So um, we'll see what happens now. But several times he has tried to talk to me when I specifically told him not to now. I'm coming to the conclusion that he's a narcissist and he can't stand being ignored because I know that he had mentioned in the past that sometimes people wouldn't speak to him and he said, I make them speak to me. And I'm like, you're not going to do that to me, buddy. I'm not speaking to you. And I say, I said, no, leave it alone. And I've ignored him several times, but he insists on harassing me. I, I look at it as harassment. Because if you, if someone's asking me not to do something and I continue to do it, then that means that, um, that I'm harassing you. I'm just trying to get on your nerves. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to get a rise out of me. Okay, fine. You got it. You got the rise. Now you want me to go door to door? Because I told him I, I will go door to door and tell everyone about you and who, who, what you are. So it's up to you. One more time, one more time, you speak to me, and, and you're gonna see, you're gonna see what's gonna happen. So that's how you handle these kind of people. You have to, you have to. Um, women, you know, I, there's a lot of women that say, "Well, he just won't leave me alone." No, you have to be forceful with these sons of bitches because let me tell you, they will force themselves on you, and they will. And I've had this has happened to me with a couple of men. That they just think that because I'm nice, I'm weak. And it's like, no, you don't understand. You know, <clears throat> I've had to threaten people that I'm going to... Uh, oh, the other guy, the other 38-year-old, 30, mind you, in the same apartment building, he's um, someone's son. He in, was indicating he wanted to invite me out. And I made it clear that I wasn't interested in him like that. That I was trying to help him... Um, deal with some issues, but I'm not interested in sleeping with you. Well, now he's been very, um, you know, uh, forceful too, like trying to say, well, you know, um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's like, no, I said no. Stop sending me love songs. So I finally had to put him in his place too. Yesterday, I told him, look, not yesterday, day before yesterday. I said, look, don't send me any more love songs. I told you that's not why I gave you my phone number. I gave you my phone number because I think you needed, I thought you needed some parental guidance. I'm not interested in becoming your girlfriend. Oh, it wasn't like that. Yes, it was. It was exactly like that, okay? I'm not stupid. So, um, anyway, I'm just telling you all this to say you can get these guys off your back. You just have to be forceful. So I'll keep you posted on what happens. Let's see what happens with this fool. Let's see if this, this fool knows when to stop, you know, because sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just don't know when to stop. Like he would like, uh, this last past Christmas, I was leaving my car, you know, going into the building. And he was like, Merry Christmas. I didn't, I didn't answer. I told this Emmer effer not to speak to me. What is, what, what a part of don't, of don't speak to me does he not understand? No is no. So anyway. That's my story for today. That just happened uh, last night. And uh, this morning I sent him that text message and a couple of videos on narcissism. Because he is a narcissist. He's not thinking about anybody else but, but himself. And the reason I made this video is because 
When I left the parking lot yesterday, I felt sorry for him because I felt like, God, this guy's all alone. His family doesn't speak to him. His mother li- lives next. Um, his mother lives like downstairs, but she really doesn't. She deals with him because he's her son and she has to. And he's told me that. And uh, he doesn't have any friends. He just hangs out watching TV all the time because he has no- nobody can talk to him. He's very abrasive and um, intolerable. Sometimes you know he can be nice too, but not for long. He, he has this this complex that he thinks he has to act tough. Dude, that's unimpressive to me. So, um, so yeah, I feel I was feeling sorry for him yesterday, and, be, and then he does that, and I was like, you know what? But, but I was also thinking to myself, you know, we make our choices and do things to annoy people, and then we blame other people for being annoyed. No, he made a choice to be um, belligerent with his family and his children, to be unpleasant to be around. He made a choice to lie to me. He could have said, yeah, look, I'm impotent. Can we just be friends? That, That wouldn't have been a problem for me. But no, he had to lie because what happened is that he wanted to parade me around like I was his girlfriend, so all the neighbors could see. And then um, when the time came to have sex and he just wanted to put me off and put me off and put me off until I got frustrated and um, and broke up with them and then he could just tell people, oh, it just didn't work out. No, you lied. You know, you just want to look like the man around campus. No, I'm not up for that. That's using me and I'm not here to be used. So guys, if you have anyone like this in your life, cut them off at the pass and get rid of them because they're no good. They're bad news. Red flags all over the place. All right, guys. Love you. Stay tuned. I'm making this uh, video about um, plastic surgery and uh, that's coming up. I'm just working on it still. I've been working on it for about a week. So please hit the like button and please subscribe and uh Love you. Take care of yourself and um, be grateful for, for what you already have.